it's official. Fortnite Season 3 is having a final event. That's right, according to the biggest leaker online, there is a slight chance that next week's update adds an event. However, it is not an event. It is most likely going to be a mini event stages leading into the new season. Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Are you saying at the games that I'm actually lagging? Hello? Are you saying with the crazy changes that are going down at the Reality Fools tree in our Fortnite game in the most recent update is actually the beginning of a mini event in Fortnite? Well, this is true and it actually has a name. All of the changes going on here at the Reality Fools tree are called the Hyper Bloom event. Magical butterflies have started to appear around the tree. Zero point to energy tentacles have also made their way into our game. The energy that is passing through the water seems to be getting stronger and stronger and heading directly into the tree. A brand new sound effects have literally been added of the tree slowly gaining more and more power. And of course, the dramatic effect to our Fortnite sky is undeniable. All of these effects are the Hyper Bloom Countdown. Oh, it would seem that the games has added in all these crazy effects in the build up to this surprising final season event at the Reality Falls tree location. So the real question is if there is an event about to strike in Fortnite season three, what is about to go down? Oh, hell no. The turret doesn't go down any further. Come on. Oh, come on! Well, this is what might be happening in the event. The reality tree has a new effect called Hyper Bloom. We know that it is bringing up old stuff slowly. So what if the Hyper Bloom is for the next season to get the throwback stuff for the fifth BR anniversary? There is a theory online right now that the next season of season four is going to be time travel, in which we're going to be getting a bunch of our old school Fortnite characters brought back into our current season of Fortnite. This has all come from an anonymous leaker, and many seem to think that he actually has some <laughs> connections with their big games. Fortnite Chapter 3 of Season 4 will not be fully Marvel themed, but with a heavy involvement of Marvel characters. This season will actually be themed on time travel. The Battle Pass will include fan favorite characters like Midas, Peely, Sloane, Meow Souls, but not like fans know them now. They will be similar to Chapter 2 Season 1 with alter egos. The leak goes on. We should expect to see characters like Ferocious Feline, which is Mutant Meow Souls. Supernan, which is Hero Peely, Dr. Peels, Villain Peely, Metro Midas, which will be a Hero Midas, Golden Gasher, known as Villain Midas, Super Slon, which will be a Hero Slon, and Cyborg, which will be the villain. These leaks actually seem to suggest that our fan favorite iconic Fortnite characters will be returning in the next season, but there will be a Hero version of them, as well as a villain. If we are heading into time travel, and we are expecting old items to come back to our Fortnite game, you know, like all the relics that have slowly been appearing in Fortnite. Well, then it might actually be true. The Reality Falls tree is going through the Hyper Bloom stage. It is connected to the zero point and bringing back a whole bunch of craziness all in time for the new season. I'm beginning to wonder if it's actually going to look a lot like this right here. You guys remember in a previous season in Fortnite, we also had a mini single player event in which you had to help Agent Jones and the Foundation get control of the zero point. The zero point was about to break. It was shattered. And it turned into this rather remarkably similar giant zero point flower tree. In this event, the zero point was collapsing and opening up portals to random locations that we had once seen before in Fortnite, as well as locations and realms we've never seen before. Well, it looks like the Reality Falls tree could be doing the same. This tree is about to collapse and it's going to bring back a bunch of our old Fortnite realities all in one crazy season. Which is why this leaker is predicting that it could be to do with the fifth anniversary of Fortnite. Well, good news news, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we are going to be getting an event in season three. Don't let us down, Epic. We want this one. You see, that's what I was trying to do to the other guy. But this time, Epic Games decided to throw me a bone. Thank you so much, Epic. Oh my God. Bro, give me a break. What the dog do? Fortnite's craziest location change has just been revealed. In the most recent update in Fortnite, a strange image of an upcoming POI location has been added. And it seems to show the volcano and the launch pad of the visitor. Uh, this is a location that is in the game's files right now that is expected to come to our Fortnite game. But the question is, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> why? We obviously know there is a volcano location in Fortnite right now. Currently, this is Lazy Lagoon. And we also know that the visitor has his location of the launch pad, which we also know is on the eastern side of our Fortnite island. But what is curious about this brand new location that is coming to our Fortnite game is why has the volcano and the visitor's launch pad location seeming to collide together to make this absolute mess of a location? With the new season being about time travel and with the reality pool stringing back old locations from previous seasons. This location seems to be an outlier. These are not locations from previous seasons. These are locations from our current season that have been merged together. We have seen a season in Fortnite where Epic Games merges locations together. All the way back in season 10 of chapter 1. Oh, sorry. Season X. Bubbles appeared at certain locations, merging them, turning 2 into 1. Is Epic Games planning on doing something similar in the next season? Or is this some kind of weird glitch of a location? Maybe if the reality tree does break apart or explode Maybe the energy of the zero point is going to mess up our entire island, twisting and melting locations together. And then we end up with monstrosities like this all over our game. We also know that this is the visitor's location, the launch pad. And the visitor right now is actually missing. His helmets can be found in game as part of a quest because the members of the seven are all going missing. With the visitor's helmets being found in game right now, is this a hint, a teaser, that the visitor's location is going to get trapped in some kind of reality and merge? together once again. Well, whatever is going on with Epic Games' this mysterious location, it is coming to Fortnite. Hey, you guys have any idea what this location could be called? You know, like a volcano platform, lava launch? Hey, let me know in the comment section below what you think this location should be called. Ooh, hello, bozo. Strike. Hello. I'm just wanting more, baby. Oh, yo, bro, I am unstoppable. Uh, these are the final two boys. Oh, and it looks like this fight is gonna go on for a while. No, brother, no. Don't you hate it when you go on an absolute rampage? You're literally unstoppable. Nobody was born with the skill sets to take you down. You're just so on fire. But the emergency services have been called. You get right to the finish line and there's one scrub. Ooh, one scrub who thinks he's got it better than you. Bam, luck graces him and he goes home with the dub of the day. Disgusting. That's what a great card on screen right now if you want to support the channel. Let me know what you think about everything we've talked about in today's video. If you guys did like this video, you're going to like the one that's on screen right now. Hey, why don't you check it out? Let me know. Hi right, guys, we'll catch you all in the next crazy season three for tonight's video. Thanks a bunch, guys. Peace.